Hey guys, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, hey, hi, hello. If you're new, hey, welcome to the channel. We're gonna be talking about the fabulous Britney Spears. Um, so as you guys know, Britney Spears uploaded a concerning video. A lot of people called it concerning, and I agree, I think it was kind of concerning. It was a little on the side. So this is the video that I'm talking about. She uploaded this video to her IG account two days ago um, where she is dancing with the naps. And there's the little puppy dogs. They were scared. I mean, when she does the whole clang, clang, they're like, no, mommy, that's scary. Boom, boom, they take off. Um, also, she did not notice the dogs from the way that it seemed. A lot of backlash. So as you guys see, hold up, wait a minute. Okay, uh, it was just captioned. I started playing in the kitchen with knives today. She came back an hour later and edited it to say, don't worry, they are not real knives. Halloween is soon. I'm basically, you know, insinuating that maybe she got the knives from like a, a Halloween store. I ain't never seen no knives like that in spirit Halloween, you know, but either way, I can't really play the video. I can, when I did my live yesterday on it, I did try to unmute it at the moment that she did the clank clank because if you hear that sound when she hits those knives together, you can tell a thousand percent, like that's metal on metal. But look how she, she don't even notice the dogs right there, right? Like if you watch when the dogs come in, at no point do I think that she, that she noticed the dogs. Um, so, do you think that's what that is? The, a towel back there covering dog poo or, or dog pee, maybe? I don't know. Um, I don't know what that is back there, but it does kind of look. Okay, so here's the dogs. I don't see her really see them, you know? Okay, so there's the noise. You, you, you can definitely tell that those are real knives. A lot of people were concerned. Ironically enough, though, she did get a, a lot of likes. I mean, th these these videos got like half a million likes, and I ain't even gonna lie. Like in my video that I did about her, um, a lot of comments were like, "Leave her alone! Like she's just doing her thing. She's copying this person. She's copying that person." Um, when I was the last live that I did, uh, this video got brought up, and you know, somebody rightfully so, calm down. She's just copying Shakira. When Shakira apparently performed at the VMAs recently, and she, her performance was a dance with knives, which I get that, but I don't know. I feel like I've covered Britney Spears enough to know that she is just not okay, that she's not mentally stable, like I would assume Shakira is, um, and I don't think it's really too much fault of Britney. I think it's due to the life that she was forced to live in that conservatorship. The medication she was forced to take i think you know she took medication that really damaged her um unfortunately either way um uh, that's a good point too all apologies i'm glad that you said that shakira had a whole safety crew on set y'all i literally was eating a while ago and i got food in my teeth hold on I swear, y'all know something else. Y know, I keep one of these in my office. But y'all want to know something else? I was watching a video the other day, and I could have swore the person that put the video up had a big old piece of food in the in, in her. And it was bothering me. And now I get on here, and I got a piece of food in my teeth. Either way. Either way. Um, yeah. Yeah, kitty cat. Yeah, so Shakira had a whole safety crew. She rehearsed this. And I don't know if Shakira's performance was with real knives or not. Do we know? Let me look this up. Shakira, Shakira. Oh, baby, when you hold me, you make a woman go mad. All right, let's see. Let's watch. Well, we can't really watch it, but uh, I'm going to look real quick, and, and we'll look at some of it. And I... They said VMA. They said her VMA performance, she danced with knives. I'm skipping along. Skipping along. There's that iconic hip shake. Da-da-da-da-da-da. 
um, if I ever moved like that, I, my hips would pop completely out of place. Yeah, and Shakira's like, you know, about 20 years older than me, I do believe. And she does the I thing. I'm, so where is Shakira dancing with knives? Because I'm not seeing it. I'm, I'm clipping through. Um, does anybody know where this supposedly happened? I saw people saying the VMAs, but I, I've not seen her. But a lot of people saying it, so I'm sure that's what happened. I'm sure she did perform with knobs, but I'm just trying to figure out where was it at. Because I want to see. Because if she performed with knobs anywhere, there is a chance that those knobs were fake. There is a chance, or we would know a, perfor a performance, she would have safety team on set. So just in case, also a lot of rehearsal goes into that. You know, um, Brittany's just, you know, got up, walked in the kitchen, saw the knives and said, you know what? Shakira did the dang thing. I think I'm going to dance with knives as well. Like, was she really practicing? And it don't seem like Brittany was being safe. Thank you, all apologies. Thank you. Where are you sending it? I'll be on the lookout for it. Um, But it did not look at all like it was safe. I, I mean, she did not, like, like I, it didn't even look like she noticed the kids. She was on her tippy toes at times. Um, to where I really was concerned that she was going to, like, trip. Okay. Shakira has the mental state to do this. Brittany, not so much, like, at all. Where is Chris? Who is that? I don't know who that is. All right. Let me. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I got it. I got it. Girl, shake them hips. Don't stab them. Okay, all right. How did I not see that? Don't cut your weed. I'm wondering if those are real knives. What is it that leave Britney alone skit years ago? Uh, oh my God, leave Britney alone. I remember that. Hey, but I thought the same way, like leave her alone. Leave, leave the girl alone. I think she's trolling. She's been accused of playing with knives. I've seen this before. She's dancing. Um, she actually said today that she was, she actually said today that she was copying Shakira. Which I've seen people say that. I, I saw a lot of people say, like, oh, calm down. She's just copying Shakira. And then today she said, guys, chill out on the knives. I'm copying Shakira. You know? Shakira looked like Britney Spears right there. I mean, not Britney Spears. Um, What's her name? Bay? Beyonce. Okay, hold on. Those don't really look sharp. Like, these are like midi... I'm not, hold on, maybe they do. Hold on, hold on, maybe they do. I, I really don't want to get in trouble for this. Hold on, I'm going to try to get a, a still shot where I can see the, whatever this is that she's dancing with. But she must have only danced with these things for a short period. Okay. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. Shakira's don't really look sharp. You know, um, but I'm going to get into the fact that the police were called to her house. Um, the police department did say that they received a lot of calls, um, but they do not act on calls from fans. They did say that like they understand like Britney Spears is Britney Spears. Um, things that she posts will, you know, people will want the police to go out to check. So they did say like, hey, if it's like fans calling in, we can usually kind of distinguish between that. So we don't go out for that reason, but it looks like here, it was not, it was not like fans. Fans did call, but that's not why they went off. Um, so let me read this little, this little article real quick, okay? Britney Spears' latest stunt on the IG was enough to get the, let me screen share, y'all. Screen share. So y'all can see what I'm seeing. Do you see 
I see. Okay, now you do. Maybe you don't. All right. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. We don't want to read that yet. We're going to come back to that because that's an update. Britney Spears' latest IG stunt was enough to get the attention of the police who visited the singer's home to make sure that she was safe. Law enforcement sources tell us they received a call on Wednesday expressing concern for Britney based on a recent conduct, her recent conduct on social media. Deputies um, were familiar with the video, the night video, out of an abundance of caution. Deputies from the Ventura County Sheriff's Department went out to Britney's house. We're told Brittany was home and deputies were able to speak with her and determine that she was okay and left. There's going to be an update in a minute. And actually, they did not get to speak to her. Sources with direct knowledge, CMZ, um, say that several people called the cops after Brittany posted the video. And one of them is a person who actually did a welfare check on her in the past and was alarmed. This situation situation isn't at all surprising given the amount of concern expressed for Britney's safety this past week after she posted a video of herself dancing with two knives. Uh, Britney claimed the knives were fake, but they certainly sounded real when she banged them together. In another video posted about an hour later, Britney, uh, about an hour after Britney showed off her knife skills, she appeared to have a gash on her leg and a bandage wrapped around her arm. So there's the, you know, some sort of inju injury. While she specifically didn't say how she sustained the injuries, many believe that they were caused by the knives, which may have led to the welfare checks. We are going to come back to an update, okay? So a while back, um, earlier this year, cops performed a welfare check at Brittany's home after fans became concerned for her safety when her IG account disappeared. Brittany was fine. Um, she later reactivated her, reactivated her account, telling her fans that she appreciated their concern, but was still annoyed to have the cops show up at her house. So this is what she posted. Th this was earlier this year, right? She said, as everyone knows, the police were called to my home based on some prank phone calls. I love and adore my fans, but this time things went a little too far and my privacy was invaded. I will say, this is like the only post that I've really read of hers that like makes sense 100% and it's like written well. Like her IG post, where she's talking about pictures or how her day is going. Like, it doesn't make sense. It'll be like, first day of fall, sweater weather, blue on the ocean's ground. And I remember that day, so breezy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like most of the time, her post that she posts on her page doesn't really make sense but this one did um so it made me wonder if somebody else wrote it or if she trolls us at all you know if she's trolling us with the way that she comments on her own page okay <clears throat> so i love and adore my fans but this time things went a little too far and my privacy was invaded the police had never entered my home and when they realized to my get and when they came to my gate they realized quickly realized there was no issue and left immediately I felt like I was being gaslit and bullied once the incident made it to the news and being portrayed once again in a poor and unfair light by the media. During this time of my life, I truly hope the public and my fans, who I care so much about, can respect my privacy moving forward. All the love, B. This, like, this post makes a lot of sense. Her normal post, like, don't really make a lot of sense. I know, I'm just, like, trying to come up with something that, like, she would say, you know, like, either way. Um, It said it was at the beginning of this year, but it could have been at the end of last year. So here's some comments that were left um, in regards to the Dancing with Knives video. Those poor dogs just ran scared. They need to be rescued and she needs help. This is a cry for help. She is not okay and is really going to hurt someone. I'm now concerned about her having dogs, let alone any animals after this video. These knives made a clanking noise. They are clearly real, real enough to fall on and kill one of those poor pups. Someone save the dogs. Someone please save those puppies. She's an absolute Fruit Loop. I actually felt sorry for her, but seeing this last post, OMG, where they are real and not she knows because she, she uh, hold on, whether they are real or not, she knows 
She's causing people to think she's mental and she keeps fueling the fire. Desperate is an understatement. So that's some of the comments that was, okay, you know, um, put up. Okay, this says, as we first told you, Brittany's fans have grown concerned for her small dogs. The pets look scared in the background of her night video, but authorities haven't taken any action. All right, so then there was an update that said, which, which this is an interesting update. Law enforcement sources tell us the initial call for the welfare check was made by a member of the LAPD SMART team. So the call, they did receive, you know, a lot of calls from fans. And they're like, we're not going to go out there. It's just fans being, you know, overly enthusiastic about the video. Uh, it's just fans doing a little too much. Pamela, Pamela, thank you so much for joining the LB family. Thank you so much. I love you for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You guys, welcome up, Pamela, to the LB family. Hey, 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 you make my day, day, day. Okay, I'm going to start singing that every time I get a member. Hey, 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 you just made my day, day, day. Um, anyways, thank you, Pamela. Okay, so this is interesting is that... Um, the person that called the police and said you need to do a welfare check on Britney Spears was a member of the LAPD SMART team. What is the LA, LAPD SMART team, you may ask? That is a group that handles mental evaluations. And let me give you a little bit more in-depth understanding of who this is. So I, I looked it up like, wait, what? Do we have that? I don't, what is it? So it is the Mental Evaluation Unit, also known as the system-wide Mental Assessment Response Team, SMART, which is where they get the SMART, is the Police Crisis Intervention Team. Um, obviously, they have one in uh, Los Angeles, the LAPD. Um, they are working with people suspected of having a mental illness. The team seeks to de-escalate situations where mentally ill suspects are believed to be involved. Further insights relative to the SMART team. Um, can be found within the following governmental publications, a guide to implementing po police-based diversion programs for people with mental illness, enhancing success of police-based diversion programs for people with mental illness, Department of Justice Bureau of Justice Assistance, improving response to people with mental illness, Department of Justice Bureau of Justice Assistance, improving response to people with mental illness, Department of Justice Bureau of Justice Assistance, a lot of law enforcement responses to people with mental illness. Um, so, continue, continue, consent, decree, mental illness reports. Um, so that, okay, so the LAPD, they have their own little team that is specifically for, they handle people with mental illness. So, if this team, somebody in this team is on IG and they see Britney Spears dancing with knives, they can be like, okay, I think this is a situation that we need to look into and we need to have the LAPD go out there and they can call. And that's what happened when the smart team contacted the LAPD and said, y'all need to go. Then they were like, okay, we're going. So they don't really just go out there anymore just because fans are calling. But if a member of the smart team calls and says, y'all need to do a welfare, welfare check, they say, okay. Um, so cops made the decision to go to Britney Spears' house um, because the person actually has some knowledge of Britney and her situation and wasn't just a fan. Once officers arrived, they spoke with Britney's security team who assured them that she was okay. But they did, but Britney did not want to speak, so the deputies left. Now, earlier in the article, they said they spoke with Britney. That's what TMZ initially reported, that they spoke with Britney and she was okay. But now, an update tells us that they did not even speak with Brittany. They spoke to her security, who told them she's fine, and they left. Um, Brittany's attorney called the cops later that day asking about the visit, and deputies assured him that they only made the visit because the call was made by someone who knew Brittany. They don't make welfare checks for fan calls. Maybe so, you know, Leisha. I mean, maybe so. So that's what I think is like really like the fact that they're they have this smart team and it was somebody from that department that called in the other department and said we no welfare check like no send somebody out there. But my thing is like 
I don't understand. I really don't understand. If the police go to a home to do a welfare check, I think they should at least set eyes on the person. Like, I don't know. It's kind of like the Shelly Miscavige, the wife of David Miscavige, who is the CEO of Scientology. She has been missing for years. Years. Leah Remini has went to the police department and had them do welfare checks. And they come back saying, well, we didn't see her, but we were told by people that she was okay. We were, we was told by her husband that she was fine, that she don't want to talk to us. Meanwhile, it is suspected that her husband is the one that potentially made her disappear, you know? Um, yeah, for over a decade. And Shelly Miscavige has not been seen in a decade. But when the police go and the, Oh, David's like, oh, Shelly, Shelly's fine. She's fine. Okay, peace out. Like, if there is a welfare check, I think the police should, at the minimum, lay eyes on the person to make sure they are breathing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I get it that people don't always want to talk to the police. But at minimum, I would say, no, we have to see the person. We have to. Like, we are here to do a welfare check. So we need to check the welfare of said person. And we're not going to just take your word because we don't know you from Adam. You could have this person in your bathroom cut up in pieces at this point. And was you going to take your word and leave? You know? So, um, it's interesting that, that they did not, you know, actually see Brittany. But the smart department, they, you know, have they're, they're kind of watching, I guess. And um, Brittany, like I said, she did put up a video today where she said, chill out, guys. I was copying Shakira. That's what she said. So in this video, she said, lighten up about the knobs. I'm copying Shakira. So. Um, I don't really see that mark on her leg. So I don't know if she's put like makeup on it or what. Um, she's also wearing like a, a long sleeve, so you can't see the spot on her arm that she had bandaged previously. But I'm definitely not seeing, I'm also not seeing the red spot on her hip. This must be, I bet this is an older video because the red spot's not on her hip. The little cut is not on her leg. Yeah, she did. Uh, she did in this video. If you look in this one, this one, she's got. Um, can y'all see that? It's right here. She's got like a little. And then she's got this like bandage situation going on right here. See a little bandage. So, ever notice she does the same dance moves over and over and over, basically? Yeah. Everyone's swinging eyes around for fun. So, um, yeah, that is wild that the police showed up at her house, and they did not see her, but they performed a welfare check to say, okay, yeah, sure, she's fine. Her, her bodyguard said that she's fine. I think it's really sad. That, I don't know. I just think it's sad. I hope that she has people around her that love her and care about her. But I also feel like she doesn't. She doesn't. Because if she had people that really cared about her and really cared about her well-being and her legacy as well. Like, Britney Spears is, like, she's a freaking legend. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like her reputation is slowly being, like, overshadowed by, like, the wildness of what we see these days. You know what I'm saying? Um, like this right here. Okay. My pretty woman top. Kind of cool after my briefing on polka dots. All right then. Snakes. Is that a snake? Uh, it's a picture of a rainbow and it has snakes. I'm not sure. Um... Happy and cute. For this one, happy and cute. Uh, just painting her fingernails. Just, ooh, okay. Uh, that 
That is kind of wild. Um, like there's a towel on the floor back there, like kind of under the couch almost. Oh, hold on. The one on the left not isn't feeling it. Put putting the finishing touches on my book. E can't wait for that. Dog poop alert in front of the I was trying to look at that. I was trying to see what that was. Is that dog poop? I don't know. But I do see like things in the mirror, like what is that? It looks like a, maybe like a little dog treat, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> you know? I'm going to be honest with y'all. If I was Britney Spears, I would not pick up dog poop. I'm sorry. I would have somebody doing that for me. I would have a dog pooper scooper working for me. I would pay him or her great money, but I would absolutely have a dog pooper scooper. All right, repost if she would have only just slapped the crap out of them. Stay classy, folks. Psst, nobody's laughing when she does it back to them. Well, they are laughing here. But what if I showed up there? It's her hands at the end. Throwback Mexico. Stiff as a board, Brit. Measuring. What is that? What is that sign there? What is she? Throwback. Are we on the phone? Where is she? It's like Alice in Wonderland. Only God knows, assholes. <laughs> what? He looks a little closer to God than most. Oh, wow. Somebody commented on this. Like, Can we talk about the dancing with the knives post? Probably got eight up. No, no. Okay. One of my favorite award shows has always been the VMAs. I had so many great times on that stage. And I've been called the queen of MTV. I can't wait to share more VMAs and other award show memories in The Woman and Me on October 24th. I don't know what it means. I don't know what none of it means. See, it's, it doesn't really make sense to be her dancing. I just don't know. It's very just whatever pops in her head. She does it. However her body moves, she does it. Which is kind of the way I dance too, but it's why I don't do it in public. You know what I'm saying? Because I know it looks funny. Roll call. Roll call. Roll. Hey. X. Look at my eyes. Not at my booty. Look at my eyes. Not at my booty. Hi. Look at my face. Oh, I smell poop. I smell poop. Now I don't cover my nose. Hi. Oh. Let's see. Um, repost because I'm just saying. Day before Mexico, me and Cheetah Print. The advanced camera pla the advanced camera planet in Mexico has me needing dental work. What? Hmm, interesting. How set ups are so nice. I have no idea. What? 
I'm sorry. I just, the nose thing, I don't know. Because somebody said they thought I sell poop in the video a while ago. Like, so, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> what does that even mean? The advanced camera planted in Mexico has me de needing dental work. Swimwear or stripwear? Go inside and get out of war zone. I mean, come on. Who's worth a shot at this point? Psst, just saying. Just saying what, Britt? I, I really don't know. Like, I really don't know what you're just saying. I'm embarrassed as hell, like a lost idiot. I heard music and horns from a car. I walked in like a deer in the headlights and had no idea I was being recorded from all sides. I'm only human. I have no idea what the hell is going on, but my hair, with my hair, but I made a pit stop in Mexico. I'm headed to Italy and now to grab my favorite spaghetti and meatballs, <laughs> she said. Hold on, ain't meatballs one word? Hold on, ain't meatballs one word? But <laughs> she Okay. She said, I'm headed to Mexico. I mean, I'm headed to Mexico. I, hold on. I made a pit stop in Mexico. I'm headed to Italy now to grab my favorite spaghetti. She goes to Italy to grab her favorite spaghetti. That is like money you, that's when you got too much money. And then she says, and meatballs, <laughs> spaghetti and meatballs. I don't, why is, why is balls capitalized? All of it. That's kind of weird that she, she did not capitalize like spaghetti and meatballs. The Only the balls. That's interesting. I know the owner there, so hopefully he can get me in through the back door. Good night, app. How deep is your love? I know, quick flight for a little meal. One of my favorite performances was with an albino python. I still remember how scared I felt when I was handed this snake and took the stage. I talked about this performance and other favorites in my book, The Woman and Me. I can't wait for you to read it October 24th. Milky Way chocolate. Do you remember those? They're still a thing, right? Isn't Milky Way chocolate still a thing? Also, you guys, the um the knives video, she was dancing to like um uh church music like catholic church music you know my hands on my hips say everything how many times have you guys been lied to or tricked by someone you love Psst, on repeat because well i mean it when people say jesus will be back wait what when people say Jesus will be back, just know he ain't. He ain't what? He ain't coming back? Is that what you're saying, Britt? Wow. Ow, you got a heat rash. Yeah, but when we go in the pool, it'll go away. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but when we go in the pool, it'll go away. Yeah. Wow. That can't be the foot of Britney Spears. Hold on. That cannot be the, the foot of Britney Spears. Y'all, do you see what I see? I don't know. I figure I thought Britney Spears would have like little cute, like petite feet. She must have been walking around a lot. The left foot looks a little swollen. Like the left ankle looks a little swollen. Um, I mean she dances a lot, so that could be why her feet look a little mangled. Um, she does love the uh, the off the shoulder shirts, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's gotta be because she's dancing, but I don't know. That big toe looks curved. Like, that big toe looks curved. It's kind of, I don't know. Yeah, she probably needs to, like, soak her feet really good and, like, chill out on the dancing for a minute. Because her feet look like they're suffering. And maybe that's why she's shaking them like that.
Ow. Ow, you got a heat rash. Yeah, but when we go in the pool, it'll go away. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I know. Wow. I don't, I don't know why I'm curious about the feet so much. Oh, you got a heat Anyways, rash. Sorry, sorry. What's on your shelves? I have to point my toes because all I hear is on a horse. What? Yeah. I have to point my toes because all I hear is on a horse. Okay, this says, just so you girls know, you are not defined by your phone a rectangle in your hands. She could have left it at phones. <laughs> it's always good to stop and look around to see what's going on around you. And there's always therapy. And it's, it's wild because she says, just so you girls know, you're not defined by your phones. It's always good to stop and look around you while she's filming herself and then turning around to make sure she's being filmed as she rides off on the horsey. When your sister says, I love her to death, to start, you learn to start living. There's a charger back there on the floor, I think. Now it's gone. It's a bunny tail. You can mute people in real life too. It's called boundaries. 100%. Naughty revelations and remembrance of my name. Girl, you're not dead. I don't think. Remem in remembrance of my name? I wish I could play the music because sometimes the music just does not match what she's doing. And it's very concerning. I will say that. Like, it is. Slap it. Slap that booty, girl. She likes to slap her booty. Um, or wave her fart fumes. I don't know what she's doing. Sometimes it seems like she's waving her fart fumes. Oh, she would make a ton of money if she made OnlyFans. Who's her intended? Who is her intended audience? I guess me. I don't know. Still looking, you know. I, I don't know. It is honestly when you really think about this, about who she was and kind of what's the deal now. It is really sad. Look at that! Oh, that's what you know. When I see that, it reminds me of like she was like such a, you know, just. I don't like to use the term normal because to not be normal is okay. But, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There she went with the cover of the nose. Okay, that might be a thing of hers. I don't know. But to consider that she never got to have a normal life where she could be happy. Introducing Snow, the new addition to the family. It's her world, and we just live in it. Oh, look at the little puppy. Your phone's upside down. Hold on. Oh, my God. Look at that little pup. Look at that little pup. I know that's how it that's what I think, hot pink. Okay. 
Oh. Hold on, Brittany got two phones. She says she hold up, her dog's got a banky. Okay. Brittany's got two phones. I don't know. Sometimes I could just sit here and watch her dancing. Uh, why does she have? I guess she wiped herself off with the tat with the. I wonder if she watches these before she puts them up. You know what I'm saying? Like if she watches them and say, "Yes, that's a good one." That's what I'm wondering. Bell ring, ring, ring. <laughs> Got two phones. Um, little girl is too adorable. Oh, my God. P.S. I want to pick her up and kiss her little face so fast. When you go to meet up with so-called friend and drive an hour for chicken. What? Then you have to wait in the car and need to use the bathroom. Huh? I knew Pops was tipped, Paps was tipped off because the car I was in was never before never used before so how was i followed malibu canyon road is the most horrible road ever to drive on so what does a like me do i put my green dress on and show up at my friend's house i invited my favorite boys over and played all night and the announcement of her and sam splitting up Rather than posting like a photo of him and her or just her by herself, she puts it up with this this video of her dancing and wiping the sweat off her. Whatever. It's her choice, not mine, but. Right. It's just so weird. It's very concerning. I feel that way too. I feel like she's very stuck in like the 90s. Because I feel like the clothes that she wears is very, like, I don't feel like she's coming to the, like, you know. What? Polka dots. All right. Anyways, I don't know. I'm glad the con the cops at least tried, but they didn't do do anything. Um, teeth are totally different. Same picture. Same picture. She had big space between her teeth. No, there's no gap. She's still stuck in her heyday. Yeah. The clothes are so tiny. Could you imagine her sons having a friend over and come downstairs to this? No. I'm reminded of Janelle Evans. <gasps> Suzanne. I watched I watched something the other day and I could have swore you were on it. It was like Oh, were you in like some sort of like Netflix doc or something? Um okay, hold on. Avery, Stephen Avery. Ne Suzanne, were you in the Stephen Avery Netflix doc? It, it just showed like how there were some people that were believers uh that thought that he that he was innocent, some people that thought that he was guilty, and it was showing them like like on YouTube talking about it here and there. And I could have, that wasn't, I swear that was you. Oh my God. I even called my husband. I was like, Sean, come look. I was like, Suzanne is on this documentary. But you were never like in a group that talked about Stephen Avery? Because maybe you just were in it, you don't know. <laughs> I, like that is wild. Watch the Netflix doc for Steve. No, it's not Netflix. It's um the Candace Owens documentary. Oh my, I like 100% thought that was you. You definitely have a doppelganger, for sure. That makes me want to, wow. I, I told my husband, I was like, I, that's so wild. Like, I'm going to try to find it really quickly. Uh, well, uh, I think.
think it's a two part, right? Is it two parts? I don't think the other one's come out yet. Um, convicted of murder. Yes. Let me see if I can find it really quickly. If you have not watched it, watch it because like it had like the truthers that believed that he was innocent and had the ones that like thought that he was guilty. And it showed like clips of each of them talking. And it just showed like a little box that it looked like it was you in it, like talking for just a second. And I was like, hold up, wait a minute. I'm like, Suzanne that made it into a documentary. Look at her go. I'm gonna try to find it really quickly um, so I can show y'all. And then we're gonna end this video out. Has part two come up? Because if not, then it would have to be in part one. But if it's if the second part has come up, then maybe it was in part two. Just found it. Hold on. I'm it says the name is Susan too. See, it says Susan. I mean, I know your name is Suzanne, but like Susie, Suzanne, Susan, you know, is that not you? I mean, it's a little blurry, but I like for sure thought that was you. That's so wild. Holy crap. That's so crazy. I for sure thought it was you. I was like, look at the name too. I, I was like, dang. Look, there's BB up there too. We know a BB. Um, maybe is that RB? Dark black before gray. Gotcha. Well, you definitely have a doppelganger. Just tell people it was you. I'm like, yeah, that was me. My documentary debut talking about Stephen Avery. What'd you say? I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, you guys, the police were called. They were contacted by the LAPD SMART team, which is the team that handles mental health cases if somebody is out there. Um, I'm too good for that. Anyways, you guys, let me your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel. I will be on TikTok in a little bit. So um, just follow me over on TikTok, L underscore B underscore TV. Yeah, we're going to be talking on TikTok later. So subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.